Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Teamstar and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade a 64-bit device using the Prometheus method. Um, I'm showing this with an iPhone 5S on a Mac, but this also works with other devices which are 64-bit and um, also there will be a Linux version of this tool. In this tool I'm using Future Restore. This is the command line version uh, which implements the method um, required for downgrading with Prometheus. So the setup right here, I have an iPhone 5S uh, on iOS 9.3.5, um, which actually doesn't, um, well, okay, it doesn't matter which version it is, but, um, okay, I downloaded the uh, iOS 9.3.3. This is the iOS version I want to downgrade to. And I'm also downloaded iOS 9.3.5 firmware. This is the version I'm going to use the baseband and the SAP uh, firmware from. So this downgrade works the way that you're downgrading the iOS, but you're actually upgrading the SAP and the baseband to a signed version. Right now iOS 9.3.5 is still signed, this is why I can downgrade. As soon as 9.3.5 is not signed anymore, I can't do this anymore, even if I'm on 9.3.5 right now. Um, I notice uh, that iOS 10 is right now the latest version. Um, iOS 10 ZEP does not work on iOS 9, so you can't do that. Um, you can't downgrade, uh, like shown here, um, until iOS 9.3.5, uh, while iOS 9.3.5 is still signed. Um, when it's not signed you can't do it right like in the video, but you probably can downgrade from 10.3 to 10.0 or something like that, so small steps are possible. Um, let's start. So I have the firmware I want to downgrade to, I have the firmware I want to use the baseband and the SAP from, I have the future restore uh, tool, download links will be in the video description for Mac and for Linux. And I have also my um, SHSH blobs for 933. And these are special blobs. Um, I'm going to use the nonce collision method in this video. Uh, there's a different method. But for the nonce collision video uh, method, you need uh, to know which nonce generates the most often for your device and to request the blob for this specific nonce so you can um, keep trying rebooting the device until the nonce is uh, matched. The, um, and when you have the correct nonce for the ticket, you can basically use it. So, first thing we're going to do is the 935 IPSW. We're going to rename this to dot .zip. Okay. Um, then we're going to unzip the content. This takes just a bit. Okay. So, we are need we need the build manifest file. So, I'm going to copy it and paste it over here. Uh, so we have the build manifest. We're also going to need the um, baseband. So to get this we get a firmware and we have here, this is the baseband, BBFW. We're going to copy it and paste it over here. So we have the baseband and the build manifest. And the last thing we need is the SAP, which is in firmware, all flash, all fresh production, and we need to find the SAP file, which is SAP firmware something dot IM4P. There's also a plist, we don't need the plist, we need the IM4P file, so copy and paste it right here. So these are the files we're using, these two we don't actually need and we need future restore. So what we're going to do now is open terminal in this directory and as you can see, uh, ls, these are all the files. So if I start future restore you can see the help. Um, I had an option to use latest zap and latest basement but I figured it's not a good idea so you don't want to use this um, yeah, simply never use this unless you're 100% sure what you're doing. You shouldn't use this. We're not going to use this in this video. So here we see all what we need to specify, the AP ticket. So minus T, this is the um, AP ticket iPhone 933.shsh uh, minus... Okay, so this is the um, AP ticket we're going to use for... Um, downgrading, this is the ticket we need to downgrade to. 
Then we need the baseband, minus B, this is the baseband. Then we need the baseband manifest, which is basically the build plist we just got, so minus P, build plist. Then we need the sep, minus S, sep, and minus M, the sep build manifest, which is basically the same since we got this uh, both files from the same firmware. Then I mentioned earlier we're going to use uh, we're going to use the nonce collision method. So minus W makes sure the device reboots uh, until it has the correct nonce. Um, if you um, got a ticket for the for a nonce which is really often generated, this can take like five to ten minutes or less or more. If you uh, requested a ticket um, for a nonce which isn't generated often, this can take basically forever and won't work. There's a different method of getting the device uh, to generate the correct nonce using a generator. Um, you need a jailbreak for that and how you um, gonna do that I'm showing in a different video. Links will be in the video description. So if you're using the different method, make sure um, you may, your device is already in recovery mode and already has the correct nonce, then you just leave out this minus W um, and continue from here. So in this video we're going to need this uh, minus W and then the last parameter is the firmware we actually want to restore to, so iPhone 933. Um, no, this is the wrong file, the IPSW. So, that's basically it, just hit enter. And the first thing it does, checks whether the baseband is actually signed, it checks whether the um, ZEP firmware is actually signed, and if both of these are signed, um, it enters the recovery mode, and then it keeps rebooting until um, it gets the nonce. You see, waiting for nonce, this is the nonce inside the um, AP ticket I specified. And now it just keeps rebooting and trying to get this nonce. Um, like I said, if your, gener uh, if your device does generate collisions, um, this, is, this, should be, uh, this should be taking a few minutes. If you have um, requested a ticket for a nonce, which is generated often, if your device does not generate collisions or um, the ticket um, is for a nonce which never generates, for example, this won't work. So right here we just need to wait. Okay, so this took quite a while. Um, I sped this all up. You see there are a bunch of nonces were generated until the required nonce was found. So this, this can take some minutes. It makes sense to um, request multiple tickets for the top five nonces which are generated the most or something and then try one of those. Um, otherwise you have just, just need to wait until it's uh, generated. So yeah, it did take a really long time, uh, in my opinion. It's it's like it's a probabilistic attack, so sometimes it just takes a few minutes. Sometimes it can take very long. Basically, here you see it's um, simple restore. It um, restores as usual, with the difference that it now instead of the original um, shipped ZEP firmware, um, it restores the ZEP firmware we just specified. And this is um, because SEP ticket can't be bypassed that easily like we did with the nonce. Um, SEP needs a valid ticket or for the moment SEP needs, maybe in future there will be some um, exceptions. But right now SEP uh, needs a valid ticket. So we just request a valid ticket for the for a signed SEP and we can do that because it's a 935 SEP we can request a ticket for that and we're actually doing the same for the baseband so we um, requested a valid ticket for the baseband because the baseband is newer and the baseband is still signed um, I think the basebands are even the same on 933 uh, three and 935 so that doesn't even make a difference at all and yeah let's just wait until the restore finishes
So the restore just finished and we can set up the device right now. Let it finish booting. Okay, now the device um, booted up, we're gonna set it up. Okay, just sliding, so setting it up. Okay, so now let's just wait until the iPhone activates. Just takes a few seconds. And okay, so just the basic setup. Skip the. So let's skip this. Skip Touch ID. Don't need the code right now. Okay. It's a new phone and we don't have an Apple ID. No, we're not going to use uh, an Apple ID. Oh, can you actually see the phone and move it up a bit? Okay. So accept and don't use Siri, don't send statistics. And here we go. That's our phone, and if you're gonna check the version and uh, settings uh, info, we can see it's version 933. And we successfully downgraded our iPhone from 935 to 933. Again, this only works because 935 is still signed. The iOS 10 SAP is not compatible with iOS 9. Um, I also didn't talk uh, a lot in this video about how to get this nonce thing right, so you should definitely um, read uh, about Prometheus downgrade method. And yeah, if you need to use the different method to get the nonces right, the generator method, uh, links can be found in the video description. Just get your nonces right, get your phone into recovery already, and just start from here. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and see you later.